Hey, it's Cynthia back with part two on how to have success on keto. So today I'm gonna be talking to you about what to expect when starting the keto diet. Let's get started. Okay, so I wanna share with you some things that you're going to experience when starting keto and what exactly to expect. Um, as I shared with you before, I started um, for weight loss and that is the number, or actually not weight loss, but just to break a plateau. And um, actually that's the number one reason most people start keto um, is because they wanna lose weight. So um, one thing that you can expect is some water loss and that is due to the depletion of carbs because right now your carbs, um, they retain fluid. And so you're losing water once you've depleted those carbs if you're following the low carb, high fat or keto diet. So you are keeping your um, carbs to less than 20 net grams. So make sure you're drinking electrolytes because you're losing this water and you're sticking to um, increasing your potassium, magnesium, and sodium. A great way for you to get started with keto and making sure that you're replenishing those electrolytes is um, using exogenous ketones. Um, these help you uh, because they have a ton amount of electrolytes with them. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to get started with exogenous ketones. They also help um, you recover from or not even experience the keto flu. And that's another thing that you're going to expect when following keto is the keto flu. You may experience things like irritability, um, fatigue, moodiness, um, headaches, you're tired, exhausted, and you can avoid this by drinking some exogenous ketones. And when I uh, started with keto, I, I started with exogenous ketones and I experienced the keto flu for just uh, two days, maybe a day and a half. And I was extremely tired and exhausted and I just needed to get some rest, but I pushed through and um, the ketones helped me. So if you want more information on how to get your hands on some um, therapeutic exogenous ketones, there is a link below. Um, but know that the keto flu is not the actual flu. Um, that's what you're experiencing like withdrawals from carbs. And so you should, if you're doing it correctly without ketone, without exogenous ketones, you should experience it for no more than three days. If you're experiencing keto flu for more than three days, you're doing something wrong. So again, make sure you're replenishing your body with electrolytes, you're drinking tons and tons of water, and um, you, can, you can experiment with exogenous ketones. The next thing is you're going to notice your waist begins to shrink. You are, your body composition is going to change. Um, yes, you'll see some weight loss anywhere between um, two and maybe 13 pounds, just give or take on how your, how your weight is when you're starting your journey. It's different from everyone, so make sure you're not comparing yourself to others. Um, so you will experience weight loss. Um, and fat loss and your body composition will change. So not necessarily the scale, but you will notice your waistline is shrinking. Um, you feel less bloatiness um, in your midsection, especially. Um, so make sure that when you're starting keto that you take before pictures and your measurements because no matter what that stupid scale says, uh, my motto has always been throw the scale away, don't even get on it or if you do limit yourself to it, unless that scale is going to be for motivation because I don't want you to get discouraged because of the number of the scale and you quit. I want you to use that number to keep pushing you forward. So um, my advice is to just get rid of the scale or if you do weigh yourself, weigh yourself like once a week. So like on Saturday mornings or Sunday mornings or Monday mornings, whatever, but don't get on it every single day. Um, so make sure you take those before pictures, measurements, and, and look at those pictures and take them every week if you need to, or every two weeks, and you will see 
that your body is changing and that's because of the bloatiness and inflammation. So the fourth thing that you will notice is um, better sleep. That is the first thing that me and my husband both experienced while transitioning to keto from the American, standard American diet. We were sleeping so soundly like a baby from the moment that we hit the bed to the moment that we woke up and our alarm went off. It was, we just are so um, amazed by not being awoken in the middle of the night, several times a night, tossing and turning, um, you know, just those everyday things. Uh, now I can't speak, I'm not a nutritionist or a scientist and I can't tell you this is gonna cure everything or, or whatever, but I have or had, I should say, um, anxiety and um, when it was time for me to go to bed I would just have so much anxiety and I couldn't sleep or if I did they were in little like little two-hour spurts and I was waking up um, almost every two hours three or four times a night waking up feeling exhausted um, drain like I just needed to get more sleep so when I started following keto and drinking these ketones I immediately experienced the best sleep ever. I mean, drool down my my the side of my mouth <laughs> and waking up in a pool of drool. As, as disgusting as that sounds, that is the truth. And to this day, I get the best sleep ever. So you're gonna also notice that your energy is in, um, heightened. You um, wanna hit the gym. It actually motivates you to want to go and work out because you don't know what to do with all this energy or clean. I clean the house in like two hours and I have a two story house. So I did the downstairs, I did the laundry, I cleaned my room, the restrooms. I mean, I was on fire and it would just blew my mind because I'm like, I couldn't uh, um, imagine or I couldn't explain the amount of energy that I have. And most of the women that I help in my support group, if you guys are interested, uh, make sure you comment below or just go on Facebook to the Ketified Crew with Cynthia and Kennedy and I'll be sure to add you. But most of the women that I work with, they message me and that's the first thing they notice is the amount of energy, insane energy that they have. This one girl told me like, she normally goes, works out, comes home, does a little things, takes a nap and then gets up and then does some more things because she's always needed this nap and that this when she started keto and drinking ketones she was like oh my god i haven't taken a nap all day i've done this 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 and this and i'm just blown away about the amount of energy that i have and i was like yes girl it's amazing like it's just an amazing experience so um you're gonna want to hit the gym or if you're lacking in motivation to like get up and go to the gym or get up and go work out or get up and go clean the yard or whatever you're gonna have insane amount of energy um another thing that you're going to experience over time not right away um as long as you stick to it is like better skin um it helps clear skin it helps you look younger age your aging slows down um it's it's pretty amazing on the compliments that I get because they think I'm in my 20s and I'm not I'm in my late 30s and it's amazing to me because um, people say that you look younger so this happens because of the way the ketones fuel your body and reduce like inflammation things like acne psoriasis um, and if you have any itises, it'll reduce that tremendously as well, like arthritis and stuff like that. Um, also, another thing that we noticed, me and my husband, is muscle preservation. So like more defining of our muscles because um, keto actually um, helps with that growth hormone that helps your muscles like heal and grow. Um, so you'll notice if you are someone that works out, like you'll get more muscle definition and toning in your body naturally when you switch to keto. It's freaking amazing. Another thing that we noticed was we were not um, craving carbs anymore. Like it was crazy insane. We just both looked at each other and we're like, do you not want carbs anymore? Like we were more, um, wanting like more of the high fat and um, vegetables 
and protein that we were eating versus the carbs. So you have to understand that your body is going to, to get adapted and want and crave those healthy foods for you when you're switching. It may take you longer than most, but know that what you're doing is you're making a change and it's taking your body um, a little getting used to this new way of eating or lifestyle. So that's one thing that we notice is like, you have a reduction in, in cravings and you have a reduction in wanting carbs. So for those of you that are like, I can't do keto because I love carbs, uh, you can do it. You can do it. Um, you just have to know why you're doing it and stick with it. And you will see that you really don't need those carbs. I and mean, your body really doesn't need carbs. So um, another thing that you will also experience is like clear thinking, clear headedness, um, concentration, focus, uh, better memory, better vision. It's amazing um, on these benefits that you get from just switching your diet. It's crazy to me. Still even sharing this with you, the amount of crazy amine um, uh, focus that you get. And you know, being someone that has anxiety, I, noted, I noticed this big time because basically when, you're, when you have anxiety, at least that's what I learned and I did research on because I was like, what the heck? why am i feeling this way it's like your subconscious mind is continuously thinking about things and giving you like this panic attack that brings on this anxiety and um, it's a lot of the way your brain works so that's another thing that you'll benefit with keto is that these ketones are fueling your brain and it's actually causing your brain to function better um, think of it like as fuel for your car you got bad you have bad fuel and you have good fuel so your body is not needing to um, or your brain is not needing to have to work so hard because we have so much distraction around us and our our brain is constantly like go 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 and thinking about this and thinking about this and thinking about this and that would bring on the onset of anxiety for me so I learned that while I was drinking ketones or following this keto diet, that my brain is being fueled more efficiently, which causes that outside noise or going 100 miles an hour to calm down, therefore lessening my anxiety and panic attacks. So you will, you will gain so much mental clarity and focus, it's mind blowing. Literally, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, you may also experience going to the restroom more often. Um, things like maybe diarrhea or constipation, just depending. It's because your gut is getting um, used to and it's re to the new diet. It's also um, reducing inflammation when you're following keto. Um, so you are having a bunch of changes in your digestion and in your gut and it needs to adjust and you will see some of the foods that you start eating are you're more sensitive to versus now with the American standard diet we kind of eat everything and we get that acid reflux or we do get diarrhea or constipation or something and we really don't know what it is that we ate that caused this so when you're switching your diet to keto, you're more um, aware of your gut sensitivities and your digestion because you're gonna you're going to notice like maybe because you're increasing your fat, you might be doing it with too much dairy and you might be um, um, what's it called lactose intolerant and you didn't even know it. And this whole time you've been, you just never. Um, narrowed it down to see what exactly is giving you these issues. Um, so uh, the other thing that I experienced and and didn't know, you know, that I was going to uh, be implementing was intermittent fasting. So I immediately noticed that I had a reduction in my appetite. So I wasn't as hungry. I was skipping breakfast. I was full and satiated. Um, all the way till lunchtime most of the times and I didn't realize that I was naturally 
um, implementing intermittent fasting because when you're following keto, you, you want to eat when you're hungry. You want to get away from that six small meals a day and you want to just eat when you're hungry because when you switch to high fat, um, you're more satiated, you're more full, your body is um, using all of that energy for fuel. So it doesn't need um, for you to be eating every six, every, um, every three hours or six small meals a day. Because when you're on that American standard diet and you're eating carbs, carbs is sugar and you, it's only going to last you a couple of hours. That's why you get hungry again. And then that's why you get uh, moody and irritable and stuff like that, because it needs more fuel to run off of because your sugar, you, when you eat an American standard diet, it like, it stores fat. So when you're switching from that standard American diet to keto diet, the foods that we're eating is automatically used as fuel. And when it runs out, it's still running on the fat that you have on your body for fuel. So that's how you get your fat loss. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but you'll notice you'll naturally be implementing intermittent fasting. And it's something that goes um, hand in hand with keto because um, your body is being fueled efficiently from the diet that you're eating and of course along with um, exercise and uh, working out. So um, continue to remind yourself that you are in, why you're doing this, what's your reasons for doing it because the most that anyone that I know of that have lasted on a keto diet and quit is two weeks. And that's just not long enough. Two weeks is not long enough to experience a full blown keto diet experience. Normally within that first two to three weeks, you're going to experience some of the things that I mentioned like keto flu that give you those um, withdrawals. Like it's almost like a drug addict, like you stop eating the sugar and the carbs and um, your body is going to experience, you know, fatigue, uh, tiredness, like being exhausted, headaches, um, and you're going to want to cave and go for a donut or something and just don't do it. And remember, like once you get past those three days, you're going to be in an amazing experience with better me mental focus, reduction of inflammation, fat loss, um, energy for days. It's just an amazing feeling. So make sure you keep reminding yourself why you're doing it um, and continue to push through and have motivation and get support. Like I mentioned before, I am here to support you. If you want to join my Facebook community, you can. I'll leave the link in the comments below. So I want you to uh, write down what you're going to start doing and to fo follow the keto diet when you're going to start and then stick to it and give yourself at least uh, 30 days on keto. So I hope that you got a little something out of my video. Um, I would love to stay connected with you. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then click on that little notification bell so you know every time I have a new video to share or new content um, along with some other things that aren't keto related because you know I love sharing um, all of my things with you health and fitness because I am a fitness fanatic <laughs> so um, make sure you do that for me and I hope this was helpful please share with your friends and family and y'all have a good rest of the day bye thank you so much